Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, where John Coleman and I are going to talk about something very important, because otherwise, why would we even bother if it wasn't of extreme importance or to make you feel happier? So, uh, hi, John. Or, or some other reason. Hi, John. Just make me happy. Like to talk, that's all. Make our audience happy. What's special yeah. about What's special about right now? Well, actually, interestingly, uh, I've been getting for weeks now um, in the mail. I've been getting, uh, I call them brochures, but they're these, I don't have one handy. It's the, uh, my, my, um, what do you call it? Medical uh, drug, is it part B of Medicare? A part of the drugs are D, but, you, but it's actually the Medicare open enrollment uh, to see if for the supplement plans, you can change them if you want. Yeah. So this is tis, tis the season That's what for, I've the been next, getting, but, for the next 60 days. Been, they've been, uh, all of a sudden I'm getting information. I'm getting letters that are telling me how wonderful they are. Right. They're telling me all the things they could do for me, you know, all the stuff that I haven't used for a year. Right. And because they want me to renew. Ah, and I see. What I do is I have, we have a local insurance agent who provides a service. I think they get reimbursed from Medicare, but they provide the service of analyzing. So I send them a list of my drugs and they analyze the best plan. They find the best plan for it. Yeah, you do this every year. We, we've talked about this before. And uh, you do this every year. And I, quite frankly, haven't done it for years. And I, I've really been thinking about this year, and I'm taking a look at my plans and seeing whether or not it pays to change. But I always make the assumption that if you're happy with the plan, uh, they all are priced about the same. Uh, maybe I just, it's time for me to look into it. I, they they're not all priced the same. Hmm. First of all, the every it seems to me everyone because I, I think I've changed in the last three years. I've had three different hmm. uh, plans, different, yeah, for different prescriptions. Companies. You you like yeah, your, you look you like your medical plan though, right? Separate. Oh yeah, I haven't I haven't changed that because hmm. they they don't change much. Um. But the the uh, prescription plans, I, first of all, every it seems to me every uh, insurance company changes the tier my drugs are on. So one yeah. year, uh, I'll get a lower price because I don't know a particular drug is on tier one instead of tier four. And when they come up to the end of the year, say change it, they move it to a different tier which changes the price. So they're almost begging me to go to a different prescriber. And they all juggle it. They, they all juggle. So you have to, you have to analyze it. Mm -hmm. And uh, luckily, I've got one of these services that does that for you for no charge. And um, then the second issue is your preferred pharmacy. Oh. <laughs> and they get you that. Oh, are you in our... And our net is this pharmacy in our network? If it's not in our network, then you, you might not want to use that particular. But, you know, just as a, a quick aside on this, uh, uh, I'm very fortunate, uh, and I think to some extent you are as well, that uh, I can use basically generic versions. So I have right. ge generic versions, virtually everything. So they're all relatively low copays, if almost almost non-existent. And also, since uh, we don't have some expensive drugs that cost thousands of dollars a year uh, uh, for, let's say, a, a cancer or something like that, we're very fortunate in that, you know, we can shop a little bit. But now with a whole new uh, uh, Medicare uh, program where uh, the government can now... Uh, 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 control drug prices by negotiating the lower prices on some of the name drugs to have, uh, I think that for some people, uh, insulin has now been capped uh, where it wasn't right. before. And we, I, I don't have any experience with that. Uh, and there's a $2,000 cap on uh, 
prescription drugs. I don't understand all that. I don't haven't reached any of those limits or needed that. But it just seems to me that it may pay to take a look and find out if there are other plans now. Uh, it, it, even yeah, though the, I look you're because, right. And also, I have uh, I I'm not promoting them over there. The, they're just as good a bit as anybody else, as far as I'm concerned. But I've been using a manner pharmacy, uh, and I do everything by mail. And it, except for the occasional additional drug that we, I might have to pick up at a, a local uh, CVS or Walgreens yeah. or something uh, for a, a specific condition I may have, like a sob or something like that uh, for a wound. Uh, yeah. I never go to the drugstore. I, I don't know how the, the, uh, the mail services work, but all the major uh, pharmacies have it. I yeah. know CVS does, and I know uh, Walgreens does. Those are the two largest uh, chains in the country. Yep. Uh, I think Costco is a, a very large uh, pharmacy chain. Mm -hmm. So they all have deliveries of some sort if you want them. And I don't think it costs any more, um, but it doesn't cost any less either. Right. I don't know why. Yeah, uh, basically, why. just as a, as a, a quick note, so uh, I've been using the amount of and what happens is when I uh, finish a bottle, okay, I already have the next one because I've ordered. Whenever a bottle gets almost empty, I will put in the order for the next one because that's the 90-day uh, period right. of time. And uh, it seems that I'm always one. I've got one in one in the drawer, the other drawer. And then by the time I finish it, it they normally come within a week. It's never been more than a week. My my pharmacy, if if there's a problem with it, it's because they're constantly bugging me. They're they're sending me texts on my right. phone. Your fill flu in the shot. blank is, is get your flu shot, get your COVID shot. Yeah, I, no, I refilled. I, we've already met automatic refill on your uh, fill in the blank medicine. Will you come, please pick it up? It's been sitting here waiting for you. Come, you know. So, it, it, at any rate, the the point is you. You uh, you bring up a good point, and that is that the law has changed. Right. And so this is one of those years where even if you, you know, were happy with everything and you didn't change, really, you really need to look at everything again this year. Yeah. Uh, because of the new laws. But I, I'm a I'm a, a big fan of of analyzing it every year anywhere. Open enrollment period, isn't that right. what it's called? Yeah. Open yeah. enrollment. Just just because. Things change. I think Even it's been October year. to mid uh, September. Also, I think that if you move to another part of the country, even if it's during the year, uh, uh, you can uh, also opt to change in case your providers have changed and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, but you're you're right. Yeah, there are uh, all the you see Joe Namath and uh, uh, Dino My and all the rest of the guys. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to tell you, if you live in a certain zip code, which you probably Jimmy don't want Walker, to be living yeah. in. If you don't want to be living in that zip code, that somebody else will pay for it. Uh, so yeah. I guess you can go to those folks are the same. But if if you know of a local uh, agent who handles that, you might be a little bit happier. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's part of the Medicare program. There, there somehow these people get reimbursed for it. Yeah. It's a great service, and uh, it's it's silly not to take advantage of it. Okay, so, so uh, maybe uh, maybe in December, uh, when the period's over, I'll, I'll have to fess up and see if uh, and tell everybody whether or not I've changed anything. But uh, uh, I think I'm primarily going to look at the prescription drugs because that's where yeah. the biggest changes have happened. Yeah, I, and as you point out, there are some drugs if you if you can get the generic, the prices don't change much. Right. But I have at least I'm trying to think. I have at least one drug that is not a generic, and. Um, and it, uh, I've got, and then another one, and I know they, the prices change every year. Depends on the, on the service. Um, they usually just put it on another tier, and right. all of a sudden the price goes up. Prices never go down; they always go up. Really? How about that? Never? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I recommend that everybody uh, over sixty-five, because it's open enrollment period. Examine uh, your your Medicare programs and and change if you can get a better deal. Change. Great. Yeah. So go out, go out there and uh, check your plan. And stay healthy, everybody. Yeah.
For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.